Hello, this is Alex from the Short Core, and I'm joined here by Bripo after a loss against Origin in the semifinals of the LEC Spring Split. <laughs> Thanks for taking the time. And um, when you left the stage, you didn't really look sad, but rather disappointed. So has that been the right impression? Yeah, I'm just disappointed in myself. I got my best champion four games in a row. Couldn't really execute, play the way I used to. Used to, still can. Um, just I don't feel like I feel like game two was mostly my fault. I feel like in terms of communication and like even taking leadership over this game because I was the strongest member was something I completely lacked. I let other people decide how we should play the game and how we should play the fights instead of taking it in my own hands, which is why my Aatrox I think was one of the more dominant ones in the LEC and just you know not taking over the game and deciding when we, we should fight and when we shouldn't uh, is is my is my fault so i just was disappointed that game two especially i didn't take over game three was much better in that sense but i feel like everyone is winning across the board so you know if my vein is three levels up on on the enemy hit then at that point <laughs> like i don't need to play well you know and like, i can get carried in that game so it's just the games where i had the tools to carry and, and i should have i didn't so just disappointed in myself yeah so it's very early, but if you would have to pinpoint an issue for today, would it be that you didn't take the lead? Uh, this was only this was mostly game two. I think over the over the entire course of the games, I feel like when we were making proactive plans, we weren't like trusting each other enough to commit on them, and that obviously is a pretty big deal. We weren't yeah. executing on proactive plans, even though they were playing zone attack in game two, for example, or just you know even in the other games, we could play much more proactive. I think much like in game three, where I feel like we did commit when we when we thought it was good. Also looking at the drafts for game one, game two, um, did they draft the way you expected them to or did they really surprise you with no. the picks? I mean, we knew there was a cheese pick counter coming to Sonotaric, right? Everyone that leaves Sonotaric Cup has one ready. We did too. It's just uh, theirs worked, ours didn't. So it made um, game three, from from game three, right? It's going to be an entirely different situation because we decided to leave out Sonotaric after that because it just didn't work out for us either way. But, you know. I feel like game two was, again, mostly on me, and I feel like if we win that game two, then it's a completely different situation going into game three. And it would have just been a lot better, I think, for, for the situation. So, just disappointed in myself, really. Also, after going through the 0-2, you um, fell back basically to your comfort picks. That was, was that also so kind of a mental reset for you as a team? Uh, I had my comfort pick the entire time, right? So I was, yeah, <laughs> I, I, I was always where I needed to be. But yeah, I think we just told ourselves let's just pick Vayne and scale and just whatever, man. Like, we're clearly not executing what we need to. Yeah. We're not. We're playing in zone attack and we're still like going even uh, in in the early mid game stages. We're not making enough. Like, we're not doing enough in the early early stages of the game. So just picking maximum scaling is what will net us wins. But unfortunately, by that point, it was it was too late. And even in the game two, where we had like a twitch, right, it was super scaling, we, we weren't executing team fights the way we have to. We had to, so it was just yeah, pretty sad, really. So this has been your first full split as a top laner, like yeah. because last split you have been switched a lot between top lane and bot lane. Yeah. So if you would have to sum it up real quick, like how was the overall split for you going? Like quick. <laughs> uh, I just I was okay with being okay. Okay. And I shouldn't be. True, um, but um, yeah. So f to sum it up for you and for us, um, a hashtag for uh, probably not today. Better for this. Place. I guess Aatrox works. Um, you sure. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's, it's a bittersweet name at this point for me. It's a champion that I always associated with winning, and now it's one that uh, I feel like uh, I wasn't good enough on. Okay. Any last words for the fans that have been cheering for you <laughs> through all the season through? The yeah. hard times in the beginning and also then yeah. through the split. Just uh, big thanks. Um, um, it always cheered me up to see that people actually believed in us despite what happened. It reminds me of the world, right? People believed us when we had confidence from, for no reason other than we had confidence. Oh. <laughs> yeah, we knew we were good, but yeah. uh, it helped that everybody else thought so too. Yeah, great. Thank you. Okay, thanks everybody for watching. Um, be prepared for the next split for Fnatic. Um, I think for the next split the goal will be again to take home the crown. And yeah, subscribe to our channel, um, follow Whippo on all his channels because uh, he's a great guy, right? <laughs> okay. Thanks for watching, bye-bye. We'd especially like to thank Christoph Bujnevic, Thomas Göttel, Etienne, Erich Althaus, Lukas Legal, Lazy Raven, 
Lama Vyuta and Adam Novosviat for your very special support and of course also all the people whose names you see scrolling past you without you guys we would have closed them probably a while ago so thank you so much for your help thank you